This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the director of Atco Mining, Mr. Neil McCallum. Neil, you have been busy. How are you today? Really good, thanks. Good. Let's get right into it. The last time that you and I spoke, you mentioned that you had a project that you were really excited to bring into the portfolio, but you didn't want to say anything about the project because you weren't sure if you were going to be able to make it work. We now know that ATCO has acquired the Flat Bay project, which again, I know is, is a project that you're familiar with, that you're excited about. So I wanted to have you on um, just to talk about one, why it's so strategic, and then two, um, the flexibility that it, it's going to provide ADCO here moving forward with another very, very compelling property. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, we've been keeping an eye on this uh, for a while. It was one of those claims that was coming open, and we're really happy to have it into our portfolio. It fits really well with everything else we've been doing in, in the St. George's Basin in terms of uh, finding these structures uh, for salt dome uh, targets and it has a good amount of historical data that we're wrapping up and and can add into our you know exploration plan for for future exploration so it fits right within a package and you know right within the same area as triple point and, and their advanced project so it just fits fits our what we're already doing very well so once the acquisition is completed, I understand that ATCO will be 100% owner of the project, correct? Yes. Yeah. How large is the project? Yeah, um, it is 21,000 hectares, roughly. Um, it is our total land package. This particular one is 1,000 hectares, which you know just adds our total to around 22,000 600 hectares in the whole region, uh, which makes us a pretty strategic one. What I was going to ask is how that compares to Alta Salt spin-out company. Alta's had a really good couple of weeks in the market. I know Triple Point holds, I want to say roughly, well, like 22,000 hectares. So you, when you, when you talk yeah. about having a land holding that's pretty significant in the area, uh, we're talking significant with companies that are more advanced, but also command market caps, um, you know, at many, many multiples of where ADCO is at right now. Exactly. Yeah. No, we're we're just shy of their number now. So, you know, we're creeping up there and we're going to have a very similar land package in what's all very similar ground, right? It's the St. George's Basin uh, and there seems to be multiple salt domes there. So we're, we're happy to have another one to add to the portfolio. How important to you was it that this project already has a historically mapped gravity low? Yeah, no, it, that's the that's the fundamental part of these the exploration for these. So we've already nailed that down without having to do any work of our own. Um, and so, so then we're going to be, you know, adding that. You, you know, you have the the basic gravity, and then you can do some three D modeling and interesting things. There's also on this region um, some seismic work that had been done a long time ago more aligned for the oil and gas industry, but it's something that can be used as well for our purposes, looking for salt dome targets. Tell me a bit about just how eager the local government is to really, really allocate significant capital towards its its infrastructure as it relates to you know, the, the salt domes and obviously the, the, the hydrogen storage angle, which I know is something that's important to the local government. How supportive have those conversations been? I mean, that's exactly right. This area seems to be getting the most attention in all of Newfoundland. Um, they're putting together the wind rights and the wind leasing right now, um, making sure that that's sort of a equitable process. So they have to do their due diligence and, and getting all the bids in process. But, you know, not only is there the bidding process that's, you know, that they are supportive of having companies uh, bid on, but there's, then there's the hydrogen production and that's just going super well. There's a lot of attention in, in investing. You know, we're not talking a few millions, we're talking 
billions of dollars in investment in the area. So, you know, I think that there's a lot of support in local community of Stephenville for, for this type of thing. And, and the salt domes fit into that um, story quite well. You've established a pretty dominant and compelling land position. You have a government that's eager, as I mentioned, to continue to develop this sector. When do we find out whether you have the goods or not? And of course, I'm referring to the drilling. Yeah, no, we are, we're still advancing our exploration and, and drilling will come eventually. Um, so just, just stay tuned for that. Stay in tuned. Looking forward to having you back on. I know you're always on the hunt for compelling projects. Congrats on getting this one. I know it was quite a bit of work and one that you were eager to bring into the fold. So awesome, awesome work, Neil, and we'll have you again on soon. Really good. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.